Hi, this is Neeraj, aka The Renegade Pharmacist. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how breath influences our physiology and our biochemistry and our emotions, because that's where emotions come from. So, in order to understand this, we need to understand a little bit of the biology of breathing. So, what happens when we breathe? Well, when we breathe, we inhale. Excuse my handwriting, it's not very good. And we exhale. Doctors and pharmacists have notoriously bad handwriting, including me. So, when we inhale, what happens? We take in oxygen, O2, and that combines in our cells, in the mitochondria, little power packs in our cells, a battery, with glucose to create carbon dioxide, water, and this very important molecule, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. This is the currency of energy around the body. Okay, now when we influence the rate of inhaling and exhaling, what happens is we actually stimulate, on an inhale, the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system produces adrenaline. And the parasympathetic nervous system is stimulated and on the exhale and that produces acetylcholine. And that's the neurotransmitter responsible for the parasympathetic nervous system working. Okay, so adrenaline is what makes us do stuff. It's like an action thing. Acetylcholine relaxes us. It's rest and digest. So this is known as rest and digest. And this is known as fight or flight. Okay, so this actually prepares us for doing. And there's another one which I like to put in, which is passion, which is a more positive use of our sympathetic nervous system when we're passionate. It's a high energy emotion. These emotions are more negative, fight or flight, and rest and digest is actually a nice, calm, tranquil uh, state to be in, but this can also be slightly negative as well. This can also be apathy, where we're really in this resting state because we don't want to do anything. It's a negative emotion. We're going to go more into positive, negative emotions in another video. I just want you to understand now that this very simple equation will really un make you understand the difference between inhaling and exhaling. When we raise carbon dioxide by either extending our exhalation or holding our breath, what happens? We create a relaxation response in the body. Dilation happens. So acetylcholine leads to dilation. And I'm going to put that there, dilation. Sympathetic can lead to contraction if it's negative and it can stay contracted and lead to chronic stress but it can also, if it's passionate, also be dilating. Okay, so we need to know the difference between being in a positive emotion and what it does and what a negative emotion does too. But ultimately, when we raise carbon dioxide, we need, uh, we actually slow down the, the production of energy. So uh, energy is associated with our emotions. So high emotion is, and high energy is a sympathetic response, high vibration, high vibrational energy. Low energy, uh, is a more resting state, more calm state, which can also be negative or positive. So, 
By raising oxygen, by inhaling more oxygen, we stimulate the sympathetic nervous system and that can actually change our feelings. It can make us feel better, it can make us feel uplifted, more energized. But it can also create stress if we're not careful about how we manage our emotions and that's something we're going to go more deep into. So by changing the rate of inhalation, we can create more oxygen, more energy at the end of it, or by actually slowing down the, the amount of oxygen coming in and raising carbon dioxide, by extending our exhalation, we can lower the amount of energy in the body, okay? This is just very simple for you to understand why uh, breath work works, because by this equation we create energy and energy is emotion as I said and emotion is energy in motion and that is exactly how we feel okay our feelings are directly linked to our emotions and how we feel really determines our perception of life and our quality of life and also our quality of results so this is just a nice little example of um, the science of breathwork, what's happening, chemistry of best breathwork. So to give you an understanding of the t two different ways we're going to be working with the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system to create different states of, of, of um, chemical changes in your body that will then activate your inner pharmacy. So by changing these states, we, we create different medicines and different chemicals and hormones within the system. Okay, so in the next video I'm going to talk a bit more in depth about emotions.